Today I'll be showing you how to get Cayman Rider, Batride War running smoothly on your PC with RPCS3. Before we jump in, let's get the essentials ready. You'll need an extractor program, I'm using 7-zip, and of course RPCS3 already installed. If you don't have them yet, I've left the 7-zip download and the RPCS3 setup tutorial down in the description, grab those first. Still new to RPCS3? Just check the tutorial link up in the top right corner, that'll get you sorted. Open RPCS3, go to File Add Game, and select your Cayman Rider folder. Click OK for now. We'll add shortcut later after update the game. I'm just gonna add all the Cayman Rider, Batride War games into RPCS3's list first. This is the Premium TV Sound Edition, and it doesn't come with any updates. Adding Batride War Genesis, known in Japan as Batarado Wo Sosi. This is the Premium TV Sound Edition of War Genesis. Adding Batride War 2. Premium TV and Movie Sound Edition of Batride War 2. Okay, all the games from the series are now added to the list. Now it's time to update the titles that have an update available. Go to File, Install Packages or Raps or EDATS, and select your game update file. When the pop-up shows up, just click Yes. By the way, RPCS3 lets you pick several update files in one go, that way you can save some clicks instead of adding them one by one. Tick the shortcut option so you don't have to dig around next time. For the pre-compile cache option, it's totally up to you. Even if you skip it, RPCS3 will generate the cache automatically the first time you boot the game. Next up, updating Batride War 2 Premium TV and Movie Sound Edition. If you create the shortcut for the first time, you should see a successfully created shortcut prompt pop up. Alright, everything's installed. Now let's fire up the games one by one. Booting the game for the first time can take a while. Shader compilation is usually the slow part, and of course, the stronger your hardware, the faster it goes. I highly recommend installing the game on the fastest SSD you've got, because if it's on a hard drive, well, you might be waiting forever. So yeah, grab a snack, maybe some popcorn, and by the time you're back, the game should be ready to roll. As you can see, Cayman Rider Batride War is running flawlessly. Let's close this one and move on to the Premium TV Sound Edition. You won't see it labeled as Premium TV Sound Edition in the RPCS3 game list, but you can tell it's the right version by checking the serial BLJS10219. Press the cross button to start the installation. It'll only take a while. Whatever you do, don't close or shut down during the process, or you'll risk corrupting the game. So no matter what happens, even if your mom's yelling at you, just let it finish first. See the premium TV sound edition icon up top? That means we're running it. Next up is Cayman Rider Batride War Genesis, also known as Batride War Suse or Batride War Creation in some releases.
仮面ライダーバトライドウォー構成 All right, let's close this one and move on to the premium TV sound edition. You can click don't show again, so next time if the game hasn't fully closed and you try to launch another one, this prompt won't pop up again. This only shows up because I double clicked another game before the first one was fully closed. See the premium TV sound edition icon? Yep, that confirms it. Next up, Cayman Rider Batride War 2. This one takes the longest to install out of the whole Batride War series. Grab some food, maybe a drink, and by the time you're back, it might just be done. Last but not least, we've got Cayman Rider Batride War 2 Premium TV Sound Edition. Mission complete. Drop a like if you made it through. Share and subscribe.